Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 5. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at working with our calibration files, learning how we can go ahead and save our calibration files in the correct format, and making sure that we understand how we can upload our calibration file or import data into our calibration files, all working within our NSP software. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our calibration files using our Haltech NSP software. Calibration files can be what stores all the data and information that's going to allow us to program the engine configuration so that we're virtually controlling it through the software here. So things like our engine displacement, the number of cylinders, the injector flow rate, uh, the ignition system details, the firing order of the engine, uh, taking a look at commanding a certain amount of fuel or spar timing at various loads or engine speeds. All of that information is held in what's known as a calibration file. And we need to make sure the calibration file we're starting off with here is going to be appropriate for our application. Now, if you have a wire in elite application, so meaning you don't have a plug and play harness from Haltech, well, you can use the existing default calibration file that exists in the elite to build off of in order to go populate out all the tables and start to do your calibration and tuning. We're going to get into how to configure all those specific details as we go through future trained tutorials. But in this tutorial, I'm going to assume you have a plug and play application or a supplied base map from a tuner that you want to go ahead and upload. So we're either going to be learning how to uh, grab the file from a Haltech plug and play application in the directory, or if you have a file that's applied from someone else, that's going to give you a starting point. That's what we want to go ahead and learn how to upload here. So that's what we're going to take a look at in the beginning of the tutorial. Then we're going to take a look at doing some proper file saving and file structuring so you can keep yourself organized during the calibration process. And then lastly, we're going to work with the calibration file compare feature, which allows us to compare two files together to illustrate the differences. This is really invaluable if you want to see what the differences are between, let's say, a tune file from someone else and your file, or if you're, let's say, you're doing your tuning process and you have a couple different files saved, and you're not sure what the differences were. Well, you can go back and use the compare and comparison feature and immediately highlight those deviations or differences between each file. You can very easily spot what was going on and uh, being able to just have that knowledge. So. Let's jump in here. Let's first take a look at how we're going to go ahead and upload a calibration file to our Elite. So the situation that I'm in, I have a Toyota Super here with a 2JZ. I'm sitting in the Super right now. I have the ignition key powered on. The engine is off. We can see right here the engine speed is not showing any of movement. And uh, so I'm key on engine off. That's the, the pretty common term when you're talking about states that you're in. So key on engine off is what we want to be in when we want to go in and upload a calibration file. The engine can't be running. So what I'm going to do here is jump into our upper section of our software here called File, and we're going to move into our Import Upload option. This allows us to do two different types of, of uh, the information we can bring into our Elite. So one, we can go ahead and import all of the information from a supplied calibration file, or we can take bits and pieces of another file and bring it into our Elite on top of the file that we already have loaded. So I'm going to go and demonstrate this in just two different parts. The first way is going to be how to upload all of the information from a calibration file, and then the other is going to be how we import specific bits of information that we might want to go and bring in from another calibration file to be able to populate information out. So let's jump in here real quick. So my application is a Haltech Elite plug and play. I have a 2500 box, and I'm using their supplied plug and play harness. So everything is plug and play. And I want to go ahead and upload the base map that they're supplying for a 2JZ for my plug and play application. So let's learn how I'm going to do this. We're going to go in here to the import upload option. We're going to click on this. This is going to prompt me into my folder section here under the documents, Holtec, Nexus maps, and data logs. This just brings us into where we typically go ahead and save a project. So if we're looking at the information here. This is what we've saved for the previous tutorial here, Honda Civic K-Swap EPA. I just created a project for another vehicle as we were demonstrating um, going in and, and working in a previous tutorial. This is going to allow me right now to go in and select out of my base map directory a base file I want to work with. So if I have a folder, let's just say you've created a project folder, you could click onto that project folder and open it up and you could access a particular file that you might be looking for. So in this case, I'm going to go into the base map section right now, and I'm going to go move in here into the Toyota section. 
and I'm going to go into then the Supra section here. And that's going to allow me to move in here to select the specific file that's suited for my application. Now in this particular case, I'm going to be looking for a 2500 option. So we can see that's listed in the file name. HT, the 141342, that's the plug and play harness that they sell for a 2JZ Super application. And then the E2000 is going to be the box that you're working with. That would be an Elite 2000. Now they don't make those boxes anymore if I recall, I think they discontinued them and what they're selling now I believe is just the 15 and the 1500 and the 2500 elites. But if you have a 2000 box, you're going to be looking for that file to work with. I have a 2500 box, so that's what I'm going to select right here. So we have then two other options in this directory here. We have a distributor non-VVTI. This would be a naturally aspirated 2JZ GE. Or we have a 2J. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.